Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your time to click onto this video where today we're here to talk about a 2022 movie which is scheduled to come out in select theatres and on video on demand from tomorrow called The Laureate and thank you so much to the folks over at Gravitas Ventures for giving me an earlier screener to check out this movie. Now I was very intrigued by the premise but also the poster and especially the casting in this movie because firstly the director who's at the helm of this and he also helped write and produce this is William Nunes who I will admit I'm not very familiar with and when I looked at their filmography they're kind of specializing in a lot of TV work and they've done some shorts before so I believe this is one of their first ever or if not the first ever film feature that they've actually directed and what a talented cast to have on board so for example we've got Laura hello Tom Hughes we've got Diana Agron we've also got Julian Glover in this as well and the plot of the movie is all about a married couple on the brink of disillusion allows a stranger to live with them in their idyllic cottage will the stranger push a fragile state over the edge what got me really interested in this movie was Laura Haddock now a lot of people know her from Guardians of Galaxy but I actually know her from a TV series called Da Vinci's Demons. That is of course set in a timepiece of Leonardo da Vinci and this movie is kind of no different in terms of a time period piece because this is set in the 1920s and it's based on the life of a war poet and novelist Robert Graves who being honest with you I don't know a lot about so I can't comment on if this depiction is very accurate to the man himself but if you've maybe read some information about Robert Graves please let me know in the comments so what are my overall thoughts of the laureate I did enjoy this movie because I am a sucker for a timepiece film I really enjoy kind of getting myself taken back to a time when things were completely different to nowadays whether that is 10 years ago 50 years ago 80 years ago for example like this movie and I really loved exploring and learn a lot about history in the meantime and I feel like for some parts this movie definitely depicts that in a great way and takes you back to a timepiece that I personally didn't know a lot about and I didn't know a lot about this person either Robert Graves so it's really cool to learn that history about them and I think what really helps to sell that is our free performances of our three main stars Laura Haddock Tom Hughes and Diana Agron who really kind of give it their all in this movie and it also kind of looks as if they're having a blast depicting this timepiece setting. One thing I actually really loved as well is that it felt kind of as if I'd been teleported as such to the 1920s and for me I was kind of sunk into that immersion and that experience of having a different feeling where I could kind of just switch off, take myself to another place and just experience what it may have been like in that culture and in that timepiece. So definitely the film worked in some regards and the cinematography in this movie is beautiful. There's some wide shots in here of even just scenic nature. All of our characters just talking in one location. However the scenes play out in this house location or whether it's just a shot of nature it's played out beautifully and I've got to give big praise to the cinematographer in this movie. Unfortunately what I will say in terms of any negatives I've got for the movie is I felt that the pacing was quite slow at times. This is got a runtime of 1 hour and 50 minutes and I felt like they maybe could have trimmed a little bit of that fat off. Maybe just even by 10-15 minutes to kind of have more of a compelling arc for this story of Robert Graves and to kind of give it a time where the pacing was a lot better because they're trying to kind of squeeze in a lot of different information into this movie into that runtime which is hard to do anyway because I'm assuming this is going to be a long story about Robert Graves lives and I kind of felt at times they were losing me just slightly which is a shame because I actually found myself invested in this movie so what I will say is if you're a fan of period pieces and you maybe even know a lot about Robert Graves himself this movie may be for you and it may be worth checking out on that grounds alone I can't really say that I'm in a rush to check this one out again my overall rating for the laureate is please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already have it. And until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.